Hello my fellow crafters. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be making an anniversary card and I'm going to be using strip scraps from pieces left over from making my wedding album. Lots of great scraps and this is the, the front I made originally just to experiment and I didn't like this particular washi tape on this card. So I will be using this. Okay. And I have this piece that's going to go on the front. Like so. And I'm going to put the washi tape around it. So. And also, um, these were also left over. And these roses are pretty much the same color. The peachy. Kind of a peachy brown. So I'm going to be using a rose or two. And a dove. And maybe, depending on, depending on, I have one of these Kaiser Craft wooden pieces. Okay, so let's get started. And they're, they're, all, they're all different, of course. Um, and you learn as you go. I can do the first time I did one right down the middle like that. But we can switch that up to are just white enough I can use Actually, this would probably work better. I will put a, a bead down where I'm going to put so I had a lot of fun putting the first one together. It's definitely putting like putting a puzzle together. I cut the strips a little bit different widths, one inch and then one and a half inches. I was just listening to a song, Unforgettable, and so I have that in my head. So what has everybody been doing? Um, are you an essential worker? 
that you still go to work every day or are you working from home? What have you been doing besides making cards, I hope? Besides making cards, I have been practicing my mountain dulcimer and um, learning some more computer technology, of course, because of all these different things we have to use technology for. I think I'm going to cut this down a little bit. I don't want all the same widths. I want it to look a little different. A little bit earlier this evening, we had a family group conference call for my sister-in-law's birthday. It was a new thing I hadn't used before, Google Duo. I hadn't used that before, so it was definitely interesting. But it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. Sometimes the same papers have slightly different patterns on them, like like this right here. It has a rose and then a little bit of music in the background. Let it dry for a minute while I put another one on. Sometimes it seems like the, you get more and more scraps. The more you go, the more scraps you get. <laughs> I guess it's just a personal decision as to at what point do you finally just toss it in the trash. All right. <laughs> Because I can make several cards with just with what I have here. And because it was paper from my wedding album. That's kind of gearing, kind of leading my decision 
to make this like an anniversary card I do have the sentiment happy anniversary and then in the inside is says enjoy your special day I could easily make this a wedding card and I may do one of those I'm sure Speaking of which, um, one of my good high school friends, his son just got married. But because of the situation, you know, we have to have it in our, do it in our homes. Which, but that's okay too. It's not about the huge ceremony and all that. Which I'm glad we were able to have. We had our wedding on January 26th, just before all this started. So I'm glad for that. <laughs> But yes, it's I'm sure it's very frustrating for all those, you know. Just, we're just not gathering. Not for a while. Okay. Decisions, decisions. So anyway, I am practicing my Mountain Delsmer. As a matter of fact, I'll probably do that here later. Um, I am part of a small little orchestra. And so we were supposed to play in May, but of course that's not going to happen. But we're still practicing, which I think is awesome. Because we need to keep up with it. I only been playing since January 2019, so it's it's challenging, but it also is fun. It keeps me on my toes. Uh, um, and then make making my cards. Um, I'm learning PowerPoint. Like I said, the technology. Um, I might want to do some teaching. So. Yeah, fun things to experiment with, and of course I'm 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 at home um, sometimes at night, and on on my days off I'm able to cook for my husband, so I enjoy that too, and he does of course. Let's do, hmm, I guess there's really no right or wrong here, but I do want to try to keep it varied. I can't help it, that's in my head.
sure the washi tape is going to cover up some of this. That's okay. Just put one big piece there and that will work. That side's done. And let's okay. Oh, and like. Um, like I said, I am trying new recipes and things, and that has met with a standing ovation from my husband, of course. But right now in my instant pot, I am making my own yogurt. Yeah, I. Uh, this is a first time, and I probably, for experimental reasons, I should have just got plain milk to start with. Because that was a whole lot cheaper and if it messed up, oh well. But I went ahead and because I don't drink cow's milk, I went ahead and got coconut cream. Which was suggested by the first YouTuber I watched on this. And it's really good. And so that's what's brewing in my instant pot right now. So around two this morning which is we stay up late because my husband gets home around midnight or so um around two i will look at it and see hopefully <laughs> it created something good Plenty of fresh berries to put in it. I've got where's raspberries? Was it raspberries or blackberries? I think it's blackberries. Blackberries were on sale big time. So I bought a couple of packs of those. There's just a little bitty bit that's not covered up, but like I said, the washi tape is probably going to take care of that anyway. See? You can't see that. Right? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, well, it's too heavy. I'm going to have to just cut it. Cut it down, yeah, and then let it sit a minute. Hmm. Let's just go with the music here. Or we have the lace from the other side. 
these are the, the lace dresses. So we're introducing some white, which is fine. Because right now it's mostly cream color. Okay, try to get that as close to the edge as I can. I really like the rose paper on the other side is the burlap, but this this rose is really pretty. Oops. Nobody will know that these two pieces are just the other side. <laughs> Except you. Okay, let's do... A piece of burlap, as it were. Let it dry a little bit. And look, what are we going to put over here? Um, we haven't done... No, we did. Let's see. Originally got this idea from from Gainer, Gainer Boyce of Stamp with Joy. She was doing this with an Echo Park set that she had made several cards previous. And I thought they were very pretty. So is almost done. All right, so let's get rid of some of this mess. I'm going to put this aside for just a second, and we're going to stamp the inside 
And where did my rose go? I have a rose that I'm going to do in trying to decide. Kind of a light pink. Blushing bright, I think. can put under here to catch the extra so I don't mess up my mat. I probably should have put a mask across the middle. Or masking tape. But it worked out just fine. But yes, uh, let me see if I can find it and I will show you what I mean. Yeah. Some post-it masking tape. So you can put the tape like right across the middle. And then you can stamp right over it. and But it'll still get where you want it right to the edge without going over but I did not do that this time and it worked out fine okay I'm going to stamp the sentiment in black enjoy your special day diversifying sure it's on there straight and this sometimes when you're uh, silicon stamps don't want to stick I just use a piece of it's my stick brand it's for vellum vellum adhesive just gives you a little bit of tack oh I just broke it. Ha! <laughs> okay. Enjoy your special day. There you go. All right. So there's the inside. Now let's put I had okay. This is going to be what I'm going to put the happy anniversary on. And I'm going to stamp that and then I'm going to cut it down with my trimmer. Also in black. Okay, perfect. That verse, this versifying is wonderful. Nice crisp images. So let's cut that down. leave a little bit of room to do a flag. Okay. Whew. 
Now the versifying and the all the all those don't dry as quickly, so you could you could definitely emboss with these. But you you have to be careful the minute you stamp it. There's my flag. All right, let's put this on. I think that's going to look really, really sharp. Sometimes I don't want to take my chance with the tape runner because I want that little bit of wiggle room sometimes and I know you know what I'm talking about all right there is that and I want to put this onto a darker piece so that it's easy to see. Let's try that. Okay, so this is on. You put the oops washi tape. Should have done this on the piece itself instead of nope. I'm just going to put it on the top and the bottom. You tell me if it, I probably didn't do right by this either. I should, maybe should have left the washi tape off. I don't know. Let me see if it'll come off. <laughs> I don't know. Nope, it's not going to come off. Oh no. Okay. Phew. <laughs> okay. I thought I put it on upside down for a second. Oh my goodness. I need to, I need to practice what I preach. Huh? My channel banner says, keep calm and craft on. I let this overlap too much. I'm going to have to try to trim it down as much as I can. Okay. All right. I'm going to use some Distress Vintage Photo.
got the washi tape as part of a set of musical stuff. So I can't tell you exactly. I know Michael sells sets of things. Okay, let's pop this up on my big roll of tape. Go out to the edge here. And then let's put our dove here on the darker piece so that we can see her a little bit better. there. And our love, I'm also going to put distress ink on. Try not to break it because it is, I found that out the hard way. glue that one down too. Okay. And there we have it my anniversary card made with scraps for my wedding album. I think it turned out really cute. Enjoy your special day with the pink roses. Thank you ever so much for joining me. It's been such a pleasure. And I hope you have a wonderful day and you stay safe and well. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.